The polls, the Mika, polls. were taken after the debate. What did they show? I will get to it as soon as you zip it. New polls show <laughs> oh, the presidential whoa. race is tightening. With four weeks to go, a new Pew Research Center survey shows Romney leading Obama 49 to 45 in a national head-to-head -head matchup among likely voters. That is people who are most committed to participating in the November election. There is good news for the Romney campaign in Michigan, a state where President Obama was leading by 10 points last month, according to the Detroit Free Press. After the debate, the same poll has the president's lead down to three points, well within the margin of error. Perhaps the biggest gain for the Romney campaign comes from that Pew survey, which shows the Republican candidate has made huge gains with women voters now tied with the president, 47 to 47. Just a month ago, the president had a 56 to 38 advantage with women voters. What's going Let's on? Let's stop right there, Mika. You tell me what's going on. Here you have Mitt Romney up, and just keep that up for a while. Mitt Romney getting absolutely pounded. The gender gap, 20 points almost. Yep. Fatal for any Republican candidate. And now it's tied 47-47. You are a mom. Mm. You are a wife. You are a working woman. You tell me. Explain those numbers. Why did they tighten up? Well, that was taken after the debate. After the debate. No, I think that speaks for itself. I think and, and, and women or men uh, liked Mitt Romney's performance, whether they agreed with him or not. And I think it made a big difference, more of a difference than perhaps uh, members of the Obama campaign predicted. You look also uh, at the Michigan numbers. Mike Barnacle, Michigan, I, I've never put Michigan or Pennsylvania as a swing state because it hasn't been, at least since the 1980s. Even if Mitt Romney ends up losing that state, and I would still guess that the president would eke it out by a point or so. Here you have Mitt Romney down 10 points a month ago. After the debate, he's down. It's within the margin of error. This is supposed to be the state where the grand experiment of the auto bailout took mm -hmm. place and there's no way Mitt Romney could win that state. Right. Uh, it's basically tied right now. And again, whether Michigan ends up in his column or not, this shows a huge shift taking place, which we've got to assume is taking place in Florida, North Carolina, Virginia. Yeah. I'd be shocked if Mitt Romney weren't ahead in a lot of these swing states by the time these polls come out next Well, and it, and it forces the Obama campaign to allocate resources to places like Michigan, which they probably thought they had pretty well safely in hand a week ago or 10 days ago. But the, the, the poll numbers on women yeah. are, are really interesting. I have always believed that, that most of us in the news business very often underestimate the impact of the economy on women as a voting right. group. Yeah, yeah, you're always talking about uh, abortion and yes. a lot of other social issues. Yeah. Guess, and you know what? It's the same thing, too, with a lot of gay voters. It'll come up to me and go, listen, I care about gay marriage. You know what I care about more? Getting a job. Bingo. My, my, my yeah. partner getting a job. Yeah. We can't forget that in this sort of hot house where we talk about all of these social issues that the media love talking about. Yeah, but you're making an argument right now that women that, will get more women will get jobs under Mitt Romney. Well, well, no, no, no. no. I, I'm okay. Okay. That's I, not I, the case. No, working no, women, on. cost of health care. <laughs> Right. The rising cost of health care, rising cost of groceries, the rising cost of just living. Right. Women go to work and they put gas in their cars in the morning. I'd like to finish. I mean, to right. separate I, I, men I'd and like, women. I mean, it's ridiculous. I really would like to finish my point because it's, it, it's important that nobody misunderstands me. My point was, Mika, that women care about jobs first for the most part. Most women do. Most women care more about putting food on their kids' tables. If they're single moms, getting a good job so they can afford to send their children to even community college or Votech or, or, or an Ivy League school. That's what I'm saying. We, we in the media, we, we try to overanalyze this too much. And at the end of the day, for most voters, whether you're talking about women or men or gay voters or straight voters, they share the same concerns for the most part. Yes, they do. Thank you. Yes, they do. I'm serious. I don't disagree. Which, I, I'm dead serious. Yeah, it just sounded like you did. And I just, um, all I'm no, trying to I, do is get along here. And <laughs> it's not breaking it, news it that women are smart sound. and engaged oh. and a part of the economy and perhaps even in control of the economy. Oh. And um, it, to me, is these numbers are, are surprising and concerning. Because if it is a result of the debate, it's, a res to me, in my opinion, a response to a stylistic win. But you, but you understand, though, Mika, why women, as well as other voters, mm -hmm. 
You know, I know you don't want to say it on TV because <laughs> you were saying the same thing to me. What? Barack Obama looked like a weak leader. All right, but if you're going to make the argument for women and what women voters no, need no, to look I'm at, making this for I will all say voters. this president has done more for women than Mitt Romney ever will if he has two terms. Uh, anyone watching the debate would have noticed two things. One is that the issues that might have appeared on appealed on the social side of the slate to women were never raised. Obama never talked about the Supreme Court. He never talked about Todd Aiken. You can go down the entire list. So the issues that might have in a sense, brought those all that to the fore were essentially missing missing in action. And second of all, to the extent it was simply a debate on economic policy and on political performance, clearly Governor Romney won. Right. So it's not. What it also shows, by the way, is all these people who said debates don't matter. They, they were dead they wrong. Might, they just they might. Dead wrong. We'll see. <clears throat> really, we can't underline the point too much here. That again, that we always try sort of balkanize people. And I'm not saying that women don't care about social issues. I explained before how my wife this summer and her Republican <clears throat> friends were were very concerned about the radical direction that the Republican Party seemed to be taking in the primaries. But and it's the same thing with gay voters. I'm not saying that gay voters don't care about marriage equality. But we oversimplify it so much. And uh, all Americans, I mean, want this economy to be turned around. And if President Obama looks weak in the debate, as he did, as most people would say he do, that's going to have an impact. I said it last week, a rising tide lifts all boats. And I said before the debate, if he had a great performance, a rising tide would lift all boats. And we are seeing here that a rising tide has lifted all boats. I say that three times now. Just to yeah, really really, piss off liberals. The next time you the piss it. off liberals. I hope I did it. But a rising tide does lift oh all boats. God. Go ahead, Willie. But that is a huge <laughs> leap. 18 points off one debate performance is yeah. it's almost not to be believed it's so big. I mean, this was a group that everyone had written up, right? It's too Latinos bad. He should just and be women. quiet and not make Mitt Romney, written, Mitt Romney has no chance against so If he closed 18 points in one debate, I'd be surprised. That's a huge I, I never thought it was like 10 or 11 points. I don't think it's tied now either. Right. I think maybe it's four or five. Again, you're just looking at all the polls. I think this may be an outlier on the women. I think you're right. There were, there were a couple other th quick things in that poll. First of all, in the Michigan, that's remarkable because a month ago, Mitt Romney, uh, Crossroads, everybody else pulled out of Michigan. There were no ads running there. So if he closed the gap like that, he did it on his own. Also, 78% of independents in that Pew survey thought Mitt Romney won the debate, so that might have something to do with the number. And then the enthusiasm this for is... Mitt Romney, a campaign that a lot of yeah. people had said, Joe, you know, inside Republican oh. circles, this is a loser, we're not going to touch this, we're moving on to 2016. Now 67 percent of Republicans say they're enthusiastic about their candidate. That's up 15 points yeah. from the last survey. Well, and Mika, you yep. brought this up this week. I think it's really bad. You for brought the... it up even before the debate. Yeah. You brought up what Chuck Todd was talking about this weekend. Enthusiasm the press. among Republican voters up, among Democratic voters down. That's before the debate. They're engaged. Now it's really yeah. up. And Chuck Todd is now saying that from looking at the NBC numbers and other numbers, that the enthusiasm gap is going to cause problems for Democrats down ticket unless the president uh, kicks it in into gear. I do want to say, though, just as a caveat, I, let's look at the Gallup daily tracking poll. It's not Chuck always says, don't look at these things specifically. I'm sorry. It's fun, too. Uh, it shows a different story. Uh, it shows the president actually up by five points. That's now that's yeah. among registered voters. Those are not people as likely to vote. The likely voters are the pew. And this actually makes Chuck's point and your point, Mika. Mm -hmm. The more likely you are to vote, at least today, the more likely you are to vote for Mitt Romney. The, the wow. more you expand that out, because, again, <clears throat> for people just tuning in to the, this election, you've got likely voters who are the most likely to vote. You've got registered voters who are in the middle. And then you have polls of, quote, Americans. And that's just basically drag anybody off the street and ask them a question.